We have a huge task in front of us. More 10th and 12th graders are smoking marijuana than cigarettes today. We have to confront these changing attitudes and show our young people that getting involved with illicit drugs, including the misuse and abuse of prescription drugs and underage drinking, is the wrong choice. We know addiction is a developmental disorder that starts in adolescence and that prevention and treatment work. After my book was published, an avalanche of need and opportunity overwhelmed me. The need of 22 million Americans who suffer from a substance abuse disorder and the opportunity to use my experience, strength and hope to try to make a difference in what the federal government calls the number one public health issue facing our society today. And there is no group no group more at risk or more in need of our attention and our help than our young people. Everyone in this room understands the enormity of this problem. Each of us realizes how critical our actions can be whether dealing with this disease on a personal or societal level. It is also critical that along with restricting access and encouraging enforcement and consequences, we simultaneously drive use rates down with programs like drug-free communities. There has been a shift in national policy away from the heavy reliance on source eradication and incarceration of the past to a policy that embraces prevention, treatment, and recovery. Now if we could only find a little more money. You all have achieved remarkable success and have even reduced use rates in your communities to levels lower than the national average, even when you started out higher. That is incredible. And you should be congratulated. That's amazing. You are doing phenomenal work. Today, I am part of the solution along with all of you. This disease isn't going anywhere. And neither are we.